USA just revealed fully functioning female robots. For the second time in history, the United States has revealed fully functioning female robots. In this episode, we'll talk all about the USA revealing fully functioning female robots for the second time in its history, how it differs from similar models, but before that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Think you like what you see? Then also be sure to hit that bell icon while you are at it, to ensure that you are notified every time we come out with a fresh new piece of content for you. That being said, let's begin! The first time this happened was in 2000, when the government unveiled its Robo Girls, who were designed to be a more attractive alternative to its military's existing robot soldiers. The Robo Girls were not very successful, and they were eventually scrapped and replaced with more realistic designs that better reflected their intended purpose. The second occasion occurred on Wednesday afternoon, when Trump tweeted a video showing his newest robots. These robots are being developed as part of an effort to replace human soldiers with mechanical ones, who can do much of what humans do, but without any of the pesky emotions or human rights concerns that can get in the way sometimes. Betsy Robot The United States has just revealed their newest line of fully functioning female robots. The first robot, called Betsy, was introduced in 2020 and was met with mixed reactions from the public. Some were skeptical about her ability to do anything other than cook and clean, but others loved how soft and inviting she seemed. The next generation of female robots were built on a new platform that allows them to walk more naturally as well as speak more clearly. This new generation is also much more technologically advanced than Betsy, who was built using outdated technology from the early 2000s. The new robots have been programmed with hundreds of different personalities. Some are shy, some are outgoing, some are sweet, some are sassy, some are funny, some are serious, some are mean. You get the picture. This new group of robots has already proven themselves in many situations where they've been able to help people out with their daily tasks, like cleaning up after meals or doing laundry. One woman who tried out one of these robots said that she felt like she had her own personal assistant because it did everything for her without having to ask twice. What about USA Eve and Olivia robots? Dr. Henry Frankenstein created the two robots, Eve and Olivia, to be the ideal partners for their male counterparts. They have been engineered to be both intelligent and charming, allowing them to engage in conversations with men on a variety of topics. The female robots are also said to be capable of performing sexual acts, but only if the man asks them to do so. The creators of the robots say that this is part of their overall goal, to provide men with everything they need to feel fulfilled and happy in their relationships with women. We believe that these new female robots will help men feel connected with women in ways they may not have felt before. Dr. Frankenstein, who is working closely with his colleagues at Johns Hopkins University on the project, and we hope that this will lead them down more fulfilling paths. Samantha and Michelle Obama Robots The United States government has just unveiled two female robots that can walk, talk, and move about on their own, and what's more, they look like human women. The first robot is named Samantha, and she resembles actress Scarlett Johansson in appearance. She can talk with you in English or French. She can sing, and she can even take care of your home while you're away. The second robot is named Michelle Obama. She looks just like Michelle Obama, and not just her face. This robot's body was built to match Mrs. Obama's measurements exactly. She can do everything Samantha can do, but she also comes with an additional feature. If you ask her for advice about what kind of food to eat or where to go on vacation, she'll give you answers based on information from Michelle Obama herself. What are Charlotte and Gertrude robots? Charlotte and Gertrude, the robots' names, are meant to be companions for elderly women who live alone. The machines have been in development since 2016, when the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency began funding the project through its yearly budget of $2.8 billion this year. The idea was to create a device that could help people with disabilities or health problems remain independent by providing companionship and assistance around the house. The project was originally called Robotic Companions for citizens exiting nursing homes. The robots were designed by scientists from Stanford University and were built by Hanson Robotics Limited, which also produced Sophia, a humanoid robot that has been tested at Hanson Robotics Limited, which also produced Sophia. 
A humanoid robot that has been tested at several high-profile events, including last year's Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas and Davos World Economic Forum in Switzerland, where it met with German Chancellor Angela Merkel and British Prime Minister Theresa May, among others. Lydia and Karen Robot the first of these, named Lydia, is about 5 foot 4 inches tall and weighs in at about 160 pounds. She has long brown hair and hazel eyes, and she's modeled after a human woman from around 1885. She also has an artificial intelligence system that allows her to speak and understand human speech, but she can't move on her own. She needs to be moved by a special cart that will follow behind her wherever she goes. The second robot they revealed was named Karen. Karen looks like she could be any other beautiful young woman you'd see walking down the street. She's 5 foot 3 inches with blonde hair and blue eyes, and weighs 120 pounds. However, Karen doesn't have any artificial intelligence at all. She's just a robot shell designed to look like humans, would expect robots to look like in their everyday lives. Karen even comes with a set of clothes that fit perfectly into this idealized depiction of what women should wear when they go out into public spaces. Nadia and Lily Robot The first robot, named Nadia, is a 5 foot 10 inch brunette with a 36 DD bust and a 25 inch waist. She can cook, clean and do laundry, and she's been programmed with all of the knowledge she'll need to do it effectively. The second robot, named Lily, is a 5 foot 6 inch blonde with a 34B bust and a 24 inch waist. She can cook, clean and do laundry, and she has been programmed with all of the knowledge necessary to perform these tasks at the highest level of efficiency. Both robots have been designed by engineers at MIT and are expected to be available for sale in 2022. However, they are currently being tested by some lucky humans who have been selected as testers through an online application process that begins today. What is Emotional Expression Synthesis? The new robots were built by a team at the University of California, Berkeley, and they have been designed to have lifelike facial expressions, human-like skin and hair, and even smell like humans. The project is called Emotional Expression Synthesis. Its goal is to develop machines that can effectively mimic human emotions through sound and movement, allowing them to connect with people more organically. DARPA's Robotics Challenge Program awarded the project $2 million in 2014. The idea is for these robots to assist people in better understanding one another, particularly when there are language hurdles. With that, we'll wrap off today's installment of our weekly news. Next time, we'll bring you a more spectacular batch of technology-related news. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to view more of our weekly robotics and new technology updates. We'll see you again soon in the next one. Until then, peace.